Hi guys, it's Christina and welcome back to another Plan With Polish Lamb video. Today I'm here to share with you how the monthly colors in the 2016 Erin Condren Life Planner compare to the new 2017 Life Planner. In my recent unboxing for my new planner, I mentioned that I had heard a rumor that the colors in the 2017 are exactly the same as the 2016, just in a different order and that I would be happy to film a video if there was any interest. And I did get some comments asking me to do that so that's what I'm here today to do. I purchased the Horizontal Life Planner both in 2016 and in 2017 and to my eye the colors look exactly the same but they are in a different order so I will share with you today which month from 2016 matches up with 2017. I will also have a quick corresponding blog post with this video so that you can share an image easily onto Pinterest or anywhere else on social media to share this news. So on the left here, I have my 2016 Life Planner. It doesn't have a cover because this is actually a glitch planner that was sent to me by mistake, but I keep it for plan with me purposes and also for purposes like this so I can compare the colors for you without showing you a planner full of stickers. This is my new 2017 Life Planner and I'm gonna share it with you the monthly colors from January through December. So starting out with January 2017, you can see that it matches up with September 2016. The only difference in the coloring is that these are inverses of one another. So you have the dark color across the days in the 2016 planner and the light color up top. And in 2017, the dark color is up top with the light color underneath. And this is the same for every single month. But otherwise, the colors appear to be exactly the same. So January 2017 matches up with September of 2016. I will also give you a look at the weekly spread so you can see that comparison as well. Now, of course, the planner design is different. So last year we had the geometric print and this year we have the watercolor, but the colors appear to be exactly the same. I'm sure there is a slight difference in pigmentation just because of the way the planners are printed or perhaps the colors are off just a tiny bit. But I feel like for the purposes of this video, the main thing is being able to use your stickers from last year in this year's planner. So I have to say they look exactly the same to me. I am not a color expert or an artist or graphic designer, but to my untrained eye, I think they are really good matches. So here's our first month. January 2017 matches with September 2016. And now I will just continue flipping through the planner so you can see the colors. February of 2017 matches with January 2016. Here's the monthly spread. You can see we have the inverse colors once again. And now I will flip over to a weekly spread so you can see how they compare. So here are the weekly spreads, February 2017 with January 2016. Moving into March, we have March 2017 matching up with May 2016. And here's a look at the weekly spreads side by side. You can feel free to pause this video at any time to see the color comparisons next to one another because I'm going to just flip a bit quickly now through the months. April 2017 matches up with November of 2016. And here is a look at the weekly spreads side by side. May of 2017 matches with February of 2016. And here's a look at those weekly spreads side by side. June of 2017 matches with July of 2016. And here are the weekly spreads. July of 2017 matches with October of 2016. Here are the weekly spreads side by side. August of 2017 matches with April of 2016. And here is the side-by-side -side look at the weekly spreads. September 2017 matches with December of 2016. Here's a look at the weekly spreads. October of 2017 matches with March of 2016. Here is a look at the side-by-side -side weekly spreads. November 2017 matches with August 2016 and a quick look at the weekly spreads. And finally, in December 2017, it matches up with June of 2016. Here's a look at the weekly spreads. 
So as you can see, the colors are exactly the same this year as they were last year, just in a different order. I am glad that they kept the same colors because if you're someone like me who picked up a lot of the stickers from the monthly collections, you'll be able to use those stickers without a problem this year. And I also find that this year, Erin Condren paid a bit more attention to seasonal colors. So for example, it makes much more sense to have green in March than it does orange. I like that we have blue in July for red, white, and blue spreads. This yellow color makes much more sense in August because it is always bright and sunny, at least here in the States. Orange is perfect for Halloween spreads in October. And if you celebrate Christmas, green is perfect for December. So I definitely love the watercolor color scheme in the Erin Condren planner, and I do recommend it if you are someone like me who isn't that creative and likes to have that pop of color to inspire you on which spreads to do. If you're someone who doesn't like planning with stickers, I think the watercolor is going to be perfect for you because then you will still have a touch of decoration in your planner without needing to add anything else in. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Go ahead and check out my coordinating blog post if you'd like to see pictures of the planner. And I will also have a shareable image for you in case you would like to pin which months from 2017 go with the months in 2016. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button down below. I post new planner related videos every Tuesday and Saturday and sometimes on bonus days as well. And I would love to have you here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!